Hey guys, welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. In the last part we went around and got all the stars that we needed to get, because I didn't get them. So now in this part we can actually start a new world. And the clue to this, because over there that's where the Wario thing is to get him. That picture of Wario really creeps me out seeing it like this. I don't know, there's just something about it that they've made him look really evil. But yeah, if you look in the mirror you'll be like... Wait a second, there's a snowy fun time and there's just a war, what could that mean? Yeah, that that's where this world is. Uh, Snowman's big head. Now it's pretty cool with Yoshi, now that we've unlocked all the characters, we can now select who we want to play as, or what cap we want. So I'm going to select the Mario cap. Because I... This level is, um... I'm not... I, hmm, I don't like it, but... I can't quite remember it. Oh, yeah. It can. There's a couple of stars where it's kind of a bit annoying, or it can take you longer than you probably expect. I mean, it is one of the later levels, so I will forgive it. But and I do like snow levels. I I really do like snow levels, so that's why I like this one. Right. So I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go up this slope, but another like subtle thing that I don't really like in this game is how the slopes are done. I'm s I swear you're supposed to go up here and I swear it wasn't this hard to- ah oh, jeez. I think I have to triple jump. I'm sure it's up here. One, two... I'm sure I'm- oh well. Let's just be Yoshi for this then I guess. Actually I might be Luigi. See, I, I know it's up here. This is how I did it in the original. And it's one of the things that I've already mentioned, like how with Super Mario 64 everyone has their own way of doing stars. And I think this was my way, and it seems like they've done it so you just can't go that way anymore. Or from what I've, you know, after trying to go up there, I think you're supposed to go all the way around. That is kind of similar to the first world, Big Bomb's Battlefield. You're, you know, the whole point in that was that you went all the way around the level. So that was pretty cool. And also those faces down there I like because they remind me of um, Snowball Kids. It reminds me of one of those levels. But yeah, I you can't... I'm sure it's possible in this version to get up that slope, but I, I mean I can do it. And also I'm interested, I can't remember if there's, set, there's dialogue here, which is really creepy. Let's have a listen. Or not a listen. Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? They don't exist. Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. So this is really creepy. Because there's like a big snowman. And then he's like, I hate you, whoever you are. Ice ant. He has no problem with the penguin. Like, I don't know why he hates me so much. And like the penguin is like, yeah, me and the penguin. Uh, you know, our mums were friends. Or whatever the deal is between those two. So, you can't get across here. And one of the reasons you might want to be Yoshi here is because if you get caught and the snowman blows you off, then you use your, you lose your cap. And then you have to go and find it again. Now, of course, if you're Yoshi and you have like a Mario cap on, then you just use your Mario cap. But if you're Mario, then you lose your actual proper famous cap. Why can't I? What? <laughs> Oh. Well, this is going to get very annoying. I think... Hmm. See, I can't remember all the subtle differences with this version of the game. Because in the original, not to bring the original back up like I always do, but... You just jump on the head. But with the way the penguin moves, I think it's implied that you weren't supposed to jump on the penguin's head. And maybe that was a mistake that they've now corrected, annoyingly. I think the whole point is that you stand behind the penguin and that's how you block the wind. But that's not the way I did this star at all. You just stand on the penguin's head. But I see the problem is I can't remember if it's Yoshi being terrible or not being as good as Mario in certain aspects. Or is it just that Yoshi can't... Yeah, if, can Yoshi just not grab on heads? Or is it that they changed it in this version so you're not supposed to... That you were never originally meant to... Oh, jump on the head. Because doing it this way, this is ten times more annoying. I really don't like what they've done with this star. Right, let's go get the Mario Cap again. 
Because if I fail, then I fail, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, this is adorable. I like this. Right. Let's get that. Oh, no. No. Lick. Lick Yoshi. I was pressing the button. Oh, come on. Why? There we go. Right, let's try this again. Or we could just do... No, I'm going to do this star. I've got to do this star, yeah. I'm committed to doing it. I really don't want to do it, because this star was, all, was always like an annoying one to do. This star was never good. But there were, but the shortcuts are just apparently not in this game. And then again, it might just be because I'm playing it on an emulator. So maybe because of the controls are off, maybe that's it as well. It, it's really hard to tell. I just can't figure out. Because I really want to just jump on the penguin's head. That's all I want to do. And also the penguin's movement is really dodgy. Like when he comes over here, it's, you just can't judge it. Because he stops right in front of you. So here we go, back he comes. Right, now jump. What? Did. Okay. Okay. What did, did I. <laughs> Am I the only one that just saw that? He grabbed onto the head and then. Like, just didn't. Just climbed up onto nothing. Twice. Did they not make this through? Did they not? Is there something I'm missing here? Maybe I should buy the original again. I did have the original. And I did beat it, but I, I haven't owned a copy for ages. I should buy the original. For anyone who has the, like, as in the DS actual proper copy. If anyone who has the Mario DS proper copy of this, let me know if you can climb on the head. Because I, I just can't do it. I think the trick to this is memorizing the penguin's pattern which what a horrible idea for a star I don't want to have to do that that sounds like a big hassle okay so he then runs then he steps back and then he goes again and then yay woo! I guess it's not too bad but then this bit always scared me as well because it's so easy to fall off here so easy. Oh no, they changed it! Hey, In the original there was a um, like the tiniest little sliver of a platform to get to that star. And I, I, it was really quite mean. <laughs> As a child I found it very mean. Well that took longer than it should have done. The other stars are easier, don't worry. And I do like this level. But I was going to mention it, but I didn't. But this level's name is a pun! Which is, it's like one of the most horrible puns Nintendo have ever done, if you really think about it. Snowman's Land is No Man's Land. Which is a reference to murder and all that. Oh, no, I, oh, I messed this up. Oh, I've messed this up. But I didn't lose the cab. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, it's quite, it's referring to all the murder. It's a nice, a nice little fun pat, like pun. Like, hey, No Man's Land when all those people died. Ah, Snowman's Land, wee! <laughs> fun. Okay, so the trick to this, I completely messed this up. Okay, maybe I can just do it legit, I guess. But the trick to this is that you can just... Oh dear. This is going terribly. You can just slide if you want. Like, if you just jump, if you like slid forward, then Mario would slide into him and it would cause this like infinite kind of... Like, it would just keep pushing him back until he fell off. I can do it in the original, I'm just having an off day, I guess. But yeah, that starts actually kind of easy. Or you could just, yeah, you could do it the legit way that I just did it. And after having to rescue Wario, that guy's kind of a bit of a punk. You know, I'm, you're like the same height as him. Right, so in the original, this was like the easiest star in the world. All you have to do is it, it solve this complex ice puzzle. But yeah, in this one, they were like, ah, we'll just make it a Yoshi one. So now I have to find where the fire flower is. Uh, well, there was one on top of the snowman's head. I know that much. Oh, sh shoot. That was close. So, ah, fire. Well, this is awkward. Run away! No! There we go. Good Goombas. Before they all run away, those Goombas. And I do find it very cute that they're all hanging around like that. 
that's the odd thing with Nintendo in general. Nintendo somehow can make the most hideous things kind of cute. Like Goombas are hideous, they're like potatoes with teeth. But somehow Nintendo can make them cute. Well that didn't go like how I wanted it to go. <laughs> I thought physics existed, but I guess it doesn't. Alright, let's go get more fire. Because even though the Goombas don't have arms, they seem to relight this fire every time you go away. Oh, those Goombas. They're so useless. But it's quite fun. Goombas have like an odd backstory. There was... Because they're supposed... They were meant to be... Like, they were once part of the Mushroom Kingdom and were citizens, but then Bowser turned them evil. But when I read that backstory when I was a kid, I always thought that meant that... Oh. Oh, I see what we have to do. Yeah, I thought that meant that Goombas were once toads, but once they turned evil, they evilly transformed into that sort of horrible looking form. Because they look really horrible to be like casual kind of members of the Mushroom Kingdom, but apparently they were. I don't know. Because you always kind of had that in like Disney films, I think. Maybe not Disney films, but kids films. Like there would be a group of characters and then they would turn evil and then they would look evil. <laughs> But, yeah, so that's where I got the idea from. And when I was older, I realised that I was just being a dumb idiot. Okay, so... I guess I have to burn this one away, then I have to come back again. This is actually kind of a bit of a puzzle. <laughs> or it was more than a puzzle than the last, you know, the original version of it. Because the original version was literally jump on top of the thing and fall in the right hole. But there was only like two holes. So it was kind of silly. So if I ever replayed the game, I would just jump into Snowman's Land and do that star. Because the other stars are kind of a bit of a pain. Not as bad as Shifting Sandland. Nowhere near that bad, but it's still a bit of a pain. Okay, easy. Easy. No need to go crazy here. Let's just... Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> that's really depressing. Something I do like about this version of the game though, or graphically, that they updated. I really like how the snow's all blue. I think that's really cool. Because in the original it's literally just white. All the snow is just white. Oh god, oh god. Get the coin, get the coin! Yeah, everything was just white. And, you know, it that also did look really good. I liked how everything was just white. But... And in case you were wondering, the arrows on the screen was telling me that the Wario cap has moved. I have no idea why I would care, but apparently it's a big deal. Okay. Let's take my time with this. No need to rush. Although, taking my time last time did not help. There we go! <laughs> Wasn't that the best? Also, sorry that I've got a bit of a cold right now. Not feeling great. But if I didn't record today, then there would just be no video. Which, seeing how terribly this has gone, and how badly it, or how long it took for me to get that first star, maybe that wouldn't have been such a bad thing. Maybe that would have been a good idea to take a break. Well, from the freezing pond? Huh? I don't... I guess this is the new star, right? Oh no, it's not! It's the super easy star! This star is kind of a bit of an... Oh, why... I'm having so many thoughts right now, and my... The main one is, why would I say this star is incredibly easy? Why would I do that to myself? Well, this is a bit of an odd star, because this star... Half of it being hard is that you don't really know where it is. Okay, alright. Can Yoshi whirl? That's the question. That's the question we all need to see. Okay, so... You got a whirl from the freezing pond. That's the name of the star, but it's not... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, stop. Ah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I've died. I have died. Unless I can... Yep, I died. I just had to jinx myself. This star actually is really easy. When you have proper control. Again, I don't want to make excuses. Even though I'm really good at that. Alright, well let's try that again. Let's be Luigi. Because I think Luigi's got a better world. And that's why people love Luigi. Because this star is really easy, I swear. Although, with this being here, I think the easiest thing to do is to turn into Mario. And then just fly over there. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother this whirling crap. 
go get that get that uh, Mario hat. Can't see, cannot see. Really, there we go. Give me that. No, I can't. What? Why is this tree here? <laughs> so in the way. Okay, good. There we go. No, why is this Goomba on attack mode? Leave me alone. There we go. Okay, so let's go get that cap. Because I don't know why they added this in. Or I don't know why this block is here. It wasn't here before. Like, there's no star in this one where you need it. Maybe the new star they added needs this. I don't know. Maybe it needs the metal cap. That'd be pretty cool. What? No! Ah, sh Well, don't I look like a big idiot? I don't think there'll be a bomb in there. That's so mean. That's really mean. Let's get out of this freezing water. Yeah, the water hurts you because it's cold water, so. Oh, I can't. I just can't. Grab on, Yoshi, you fool. See, the timing on. You can't hover. There we go. <laughs> that was just so easy. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. See, every time, you you know, you guys saw it, I was always like, I was just too afraid to go jump forward. So I just did a little jump. But because of the, the way they move, they like accelerate towards you, so it can be a bit hard to judge jumping on top of them. Oh, well, with that, I think it's time to end the part. So next time in this play Super Mario 64 DS, we're going to finish off Snowman's Land. And uh, hopefully I'm going to do better. So I've been on Stone 23 Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.